Susan, I was just wondering, <laughs> have you ever noticed how much a cow's head looks like an electric guitar? Think about it. Think about it for a second. <laughs> In Wisconsin, we think we know everything about cows, but it turns out there is a lot we don't know. A cartoonist visiting the World Dairy Expo this week has made a career out of exposing the wildlife of cows. Rube's Cartoons is a nationally syndicated cartoon strip, and we met its creator, Lee Rubin, in the center of the bovine universe. <laughs> cartoonist and I'd like to draw cows. <laughs> what better place? Where did that come from? Uh, just, I just like to draw animals, all sorts of animals, and cows are my favorite of, of Why? any animal. What is it about cows? We them. love cows, so we get it, but... They take up a lot of space on the paper, so I don't. I can draw big and get away with it. You see cows differently than other people see cows. You put them in unique situations. How, how would you explain your Art. It's really, I'm just making fun of people, but I get to use cows to do it. I mean, really, that's what it's all about, is just commenting on, on uh, society through cows. Well, you have a book called The Wild Side of Cows. Right. Who knew? There's a wild side well, of cows? Well, that's true. The wild, yes, so there's, there's the wild, uh, so actually the wild life of cows, pets, farm, animal. I mean, there's a whole bunch of books, but that's, yes, that was the original one that kind of got me into the into doing the ag show. <laughs> How do people at a cow event respond to you poking a little fun at cows? Well, a lot of times they think that I, did. I, they ask me if I grew up on a, a dairy farm and I can honestly say I'm a complete fraud. <laughs> I milked a cow one time and it was hard. So that was Left it. a lasting impression. Yeah, I go, wow, you know, people like make a living doing this, it's hard work. You, you know. do all kinds of animal art or you have a special preference for cows? I like cows, but I do everything. Cows, people, inanimate objects, because I do. I draw the daily, a daily cartoon, so the demand is always there for new stuff every day. Yeah. So. so how long have you been doing this? It'll be 27 years in November. And you, this is a hobby or this is how you make this your livelihood? Yes, this is how I make my living. My friends don't believe it either, so. Isn't it incredible though? You can yeah. make a living doing what you love. Uh, it's, yes, sometimes it's hard to believe. I have to pinch myself <laughs> so I can actually get away with this. Don't tell anybody. You know, I don't, want, don't wake me up. You know. <laughs> There's always the... I think this speaks for itself. <laughs> you know, I've seen a lot of people wearing this shirt yes. at, at the exit. Very popular for obvious reasons here. Yep. Squirt gun fights on the dairy farm. Always a, always a, you know, it was amazing to me. Of, I thought I was the first person to think of this and I come to find out dairy people have been doing this for years and years and years. What is it you hope that people take away from, from your own pieces? Well, Besides, so I don't have to ship it all home with me. <laughs> yeah. Uh, lot, just well, a, a good time, a quick, cheap laugh, essentially. Yeah. Just, that just makes some, your day. Some, yeah. They're laughing is something I created. I get to share it, my vision with them. They kind of, they get it. That's great. It's a lot of fun. <laughs> And Lee actually painted that guitar. Isn't that, that something? That is very see, cool. See, now every time you see a cow, you'll think, looks like an electric guitar. And I'm going to think, manure <laughs> happens, folks. <laughs> he lives in California, too. Isn't that interesting? Yeah. He never grew up on a dairy yeah. farm. And, and it's so cool that he, he says that people have thought of his ideas <laughs> long know. before he thought that's he was the first That's a little disturbing, but that's okay. <laughs> Lee will be at the World Dairy Expo all week this week, and he's also holding a special event tomorrow night at the Verona Public Library. Join Lee for an evening of humorous discussion and creative live cartooning tomorrow night at 7 o'clock. The program is free and open to the public, and if you'd like to see more of his work, check out rubescartoons.com. They are adorable, and they will make you laugh, I yeah, guarantee very you. very funny guy.